Hey guys, Rotter5 here with episode number 6 of the Bayer Leverkusen career mode on FIFA 22. Now you're probably thinking this is a bit early. This is 12 o'clock, you know, 4 hours earlier than normal. What we are doing this weekend is going to be a quadruple upload. We're going to have 2 episodes of this Leverkusen career mode and 2 episodes of the My Player career mode. Just for a bit of fun, you know, we're at the beginning of FIFA. It's the first weekend since FIFA's been out. What a treat, you boys. So, we'll see you with tucking into your lunch. Enjoy this one, and then maybe when you're tucking into I don't know, a, a snack, or maybe even early dinner at 4 o'clock, you can watch the My Player with Burnley. But, kicking this one off, we go 1-0 to the good against Betis, continuing our fine form in the Europa League, and continuing Silas's incredible form in these past few episodes. He's been in the goals quite a lot, and long may that continue, you know, him and Schick up top, both scoring the goals, it's really good to see, but yeah. The form has just flipped in this career mode, and it's been since we got the full game. The game, the, the form has flipped, which is really good to see, as we do play the ball inside across to the back post, and it's Florian Verts with another goal against Betis. I do believe he scored the last time we played them, but a win here today put us on 12 points in the Europa League, and that is pretty much guaranteeing us through to the next round in this one. Obviously... Betis are probably the hardest team in the group behind ourselves, but, you know, we have brushed them aside the first time we played and we went 2-0 up very quickly and did concede one just before half-time like we have done just here with them scoring. I think it was through Nabil Fakir making the goal there as Joaquin finds Montoya for this one on this right-hand side. They're just trying to find a bit of space and actually find William Carvalho. No one's around him. He finds William Jose, the Brazilian formerly of Wolves, and it's a lovely, lovely, lovely finish from the former Olympic Lyon man, Nabil Fakir. He's supposed to join Liverpool, if you remember that. That's that's a classic. He, there was like the whole video was revealed and the medical was done and all that. But he just never joined. There's a great save from Hurideki to deny them from making the complete comeback. And the comeback 180, pretty much. But we do go down the other end with Florian Verts and we do go back in front for the second time in this game. That young German is just so good. I've said it before and I'm saying it many, many times, boys. He is so good. If you need an attacking midfielder, go and pick him up 100% as in the final few minutes, the clock's ticking down. We're going to use the pace of Mu uh, Musa. Mi is it Musa Diaby? Uh, well, Diaby. He sweats the ball across to Patrick Schick and confirms the victory for ourselves, making it 4-2. And... That is kind of all we're using DRB for right now. We're bringing him on late in the game, taking advantage of how quick he is. And I just don't think that's kind of good value for how much he is. Obviously, we got that £50 million bid from Atletico in the summer. If we can get 50 mil for him, I can very easily sign another pacey player to bring on late in the game and use for that exact same situation. So I think we are going to sell him in January. I'm deciding it now. He will be gone. And yeah, that's it. Really, he, he will be gone. We'll find someone else quick that can do his job. But coming into this one against Hertha Berlin, we're in incredible form. And I just want to keep winning games, you know, because we are playing so good. And it feels like we can win and beat anyone who's put in front of us right now. It's a, like, complete 180 from what it felt like just a few episodes ago where we were losing every single game. We've now got the confidence flowing through our veins. Four inverts is taking long shots like he did in the first episode against Union Berlin. Obviously taking on another Berlin side in this one. And yeah, we're just playing so well. Holodecki's playing well. The, all the back three are playing well. Two wing-backs maybe could be, could be doing better in the attacking sense. Midfield's playing much better. Obviously, Verts has been good all season. Same with Schick. And now Silas is actually getting on the score sheet as well. So it's really good to see. We should have been 1-0 up there through Schick. You know, he's top goal scorer in the league. Got to be testing the keeper a little bit more than he did just there as Silas finds Verts. We're in the second half now. Actually struggling to get a goal past uh, Garstein, Jarstein, Garstein, but eventually, hopefully we can find it eventually, but we do give away the ball there with Sosa, and there's going to be a counter-attacking opportunity here for Berlin as Richter, out wide to Serda, the former Schalke man, we give the ball away for the second time with Sosa, he finds Mosillo, turns Jonathan Tau, and a lovely knuckled shot there, dips over the top of Holodecki, and we do go 1-0 down. And it feels like the first time in a while we've gone 1-0 down. And after all the chances we've had, um, 
you know, I, I don't know what happened, but we had a lot of chances and we just didn't score them. And there's back-to-back -back big chances there for Berlin, that both coming from our own mistakes here. But we do catch the ball with Holodeki, and if we can get the right throw, we can have a chance on goal here. And we're going to just play it short to Kasunu. He plays it to Frimpong, you can see, is an absolutely knackered. We do still need that right back. But we've brought on Diaby at this point. I'm going to use his pace, and it's working perfectly there on the left foot, but it is well saved from Garstein. Denying us the chances. We're in the 90th minute. Schick plays a lovely ball over the top. Poor touch from Luis Felipe. Diaby is one-on-one -on -one to secure the draw. And he hits the post. And that's another reason why I think we should sell him. Not clinical enough. I'm pretty sure with just a little bit of scouting, we can find a player who's just as quick and much more clinical than Diaby. As we come into the final game of the episode, we're taking on Bochum. I think that's how it's pronounced. But this is the game we should be winning, and we do want to bounce back after that defeat to Hertha. And we should be able to do it against this team, you know, not, not one of the best. And we should be able to create quite a lot of chances, and even a couple of goals here today. But you can see the very first chance come early on in this one. And we're just going to keep playing on the pressure as 13 minutes into the game. Demba by our left centre mid, plays it inside to Florian Verts. It's an absolutely brilliant ball. Splits the lines, plays it in between three or four players. And Verts with a nice well-composed finish to make it 1-0 to ourselves. The German to German connection. And we are 1-0 up in this one. It's really good to see as Verts plays it across to Schick. They intercept and they've got a counter-attacking opportunity on here. You can see just how many players we have forward. And this is where I learned just how quick this right midfielder was. Because Sosa has been left in his trail. Tried to call out Haladeki. We got punished. We got chipped. And they did make it 1-1. Asano is very, very quick. And he punished us. Just, just like like that. He turned on the Jets like that. And that just kind of warned me for the rest of the game. Don't give him that much space. Do not let him run in behind. And I think we, we pretty much shut him down for the rest of the game. Which is really good to see as Silas almost makes it 2-1. Putting us back in front. But a well save. Or good save from the keeper does deny us that chance. And there's actually a chance here for Bochum to go 2-1 up for the first time in this game. As Wagner on this left-hand side plays it to Blum. Blum is going to play it inside to... I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that guy's name because it's literally impossible. But Hurideki does deny them that chance and it does remain at 1-1 as we intercept the ball just before the hour mark and we're going to have a counter-attacking opportunity of our own as Aranguiz, the Chilean, finds Silas. Silas finds Verts, the goal scorer, knocks it through to Patrick Schick, holds off his man. Really unfortunate from Bolcom there. But you've got to do what you've got to do when you're a poacher like Schick. That is exactly what he wants to do. That is his bread and butter. And he does make it 2-1. Back in front in this one. And now we just got to hold on for this kind of final 25 minutes. Just hold on. Don't let him have any chances. But Fratesi on this left-hand side. This is one I didn't actually know how quick any of their other players were. I just knew Asano. Don't let him in behind. But Wagner, left-back, plays it up back to Fratesi inside the Polter. It's a really nice finish, but no one was marking him in the box there. And with 20 minutes remaining... It's back to 2-2, two -two, back on level terms, and we've just got to kind of buy our time and just create a chance. Don't rush in, because that's what we did against Berlin, and it didn't work. And when we take our time, we've got the man in the middle, Demabai. He's got a goal and assist in this one, a really good performance from him here today. He does go and make it 3-2, and then a chance here for Schick, but he's not quite quick enough against Bella Chop. But he's going to chase down the ball again, the poacher in him. He does ooh, give away a foul. But Rickman fouls him. The referee doesn't look at the foul that Schick gave. He looks at the one that Rickman gave. And we do win a penalty. And this is what we won a penalty for. So Rickman was on the floor from the foul from Schick. He then kicks the ball away, fouling Schick in the process. And we won a penalty. Very, um, you know, it's not a penalty, but I'm going to take it. As Silas steps up, putting at that top right corner. 4-2 is going to be the score. And we're just running away with it at this point. You know, very, very... Very good performance from the boys in the second half. Turned it on and, you know, scoring those three goals in this second half. Looking to add some more here as Silas knocks the ball to for the verts again. He's not quite quick enough, but a miscommunication from the defence and the keeper. Plays the ball straight to Paulinho and our young Brazilian makes it 5-2. And yeah, he just rounds off a really, really good performance from the boys. That is going to be the final score in this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you with the Bayer Leverkusen episode tomorrow. But I'll see you with Burnley later on today with the My Player. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one though. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.